Are you still spending time creating your AutoCAD PDFs? Oh no, please stop. Here's what you want to do. Use your custom lazy DWG to PDF and done. All of your PDFs were created and saved immediately in your project folder. How do we do that? So one of the first steps to create this command, the lazy DWG to PDF, is by utilizing this command macros. So I'm going to create or utilize this command over here by clicking on it and say command macro editor and rename the command. We agree that we should call this command lazy dwg to pdf so you can specify an image by clicking this option i already downloaded a png image from the internet and if you click open you will specify the icon for your command over here what i like to do is erase this part because this was part of a different custom macro or command I'm going to utilize the CC option and this is simply a way to cancel or stop any active or running command. It's like an escape on your keyboard. So the next steps would be to save our drawing. Why? Because when uh, we are going to use the next command, we first need to save any changes that we did in our current drawing utilizing this underscore that simply let AutoCAD knows that we're gonna use a command and the command will be the Q save command following by a semicolon that represents an enter in your keyboard. So once we do that, we can use a command, useful command called auto publish and following by an enter and another enter to accept the prompts that this command uh, asks for. And the next piece of information that we're going to add is a way to alert people, to let them know what, what's going on. I'm going to paste uh, using the control V from my other screen. It's simply a message or an alert to let them know that a PDF was created and saved in their drawing folder. So once we accept that and click OK, and the step that is missing is the uh, description. So the description is very important in this case because let's go back to the command and edit it. Because we need a way to let them know some of the steps in order for this command to work. And I have here the description that I'm going to paste and basically what's happening over here is that this command requires a one time setup of the automatic publish settings. Things such as the location of the PDF. Uh, we also need to set up what to include, what file format and so on. So let me show you first how do we do that. This is a one-time setup. So I'm going to click OK for now. And let's open the options dialog box with the OP shortcut. And over here, what we need to do is go under the publish or plot and publish tab, automatic publish settings. So when we expand that up, there are many different options, but the important ones that you need to follow in order for this command to work correctly are the following. So the location over here, I like the drawing folder, but it's all up to you. You can create another an individual folder if you want, but I like the drawing folder better. The include make sure that layouts is selected over here. This is very important because we don't want to create PDFs from our model space. So layouts, make sure that's selected. The file format, make sure the PDF is selected also. And finally, the type. 
So the type is a personal preference if you want to PDF to be created in a single sheet or multi-sheet file. So those are the important options that you need to set up once you do that and accept all of the changes, then your command will be ready to go. So what do you think about the lazy DWG to PDF? Let me know on the chat.